What's up guys, my room is a bit of a mess, so please excuse it. Been messing around with this Resident Evil uh, for about a good, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Trying to see if I can get it to run good on the Razer Edge Pro. Let me put this full screen for a minute. Hit the light. Uh, so far, if you look at the settings, well, the reason why I'm making this video in progress already is because uh, this is like that limited amount of time one uh, demo. I've already bought this on the PS4. I'm not sure if I'm willing to buy this on the Razer Edge Pro, like on PC again. Um, I didn't really get to any action or anything. I've just been running around in the police station. I just want to show you guys, yes, it can be played on the Razer Edge Pro. I've been messing around with the settings and stuff, trying to get it to run the best it can before I made this video. Um, but yeah, it, it can actually run, uh, I guess, decent speed. Uh, but I'll show you guys the settings that I have here. I had to go crazy with the resolution. This is on DirectX 11. I haven't tested it on DirectX 12. I don't think if I turn this off, they'll let me get back on the game. I don't know how the trial works. I guess I'll try it after this game. This is done. I have the resolution in 640 by 480. Yeah, I know. Um, and uh, the rendering is on normal. Image quality is on 200%. Uh, frame rate 60 V-Sync is on. The anti-aliasing I have on FXAATAA because obviously it looks really choppy if it's uh, the resolution is down. That actually solved that choppy problem, uh, made it more uh, seeable, clear, uh, a little bit more less sharp. Texture quality I have on eight eight gigs it says high. Um, Texture filter quality I have on low. Could probably turn that up. But uh, mesh quality low, shadow quality low, shadow catch low. If you know anything about this kind of stuff, you want to make sure the shadows are low and any useless things are off and low, low, low. Everything off, low. There you go. All right. So everything's pretty much off and low. Um, except the, I guess I just turned up the, the what you call it. <clears throat> which is causing hiccups, so probably it was better to turn that off. Alright, let's turn that off. What the hell did I turn on? I just wasn't even paying attention to really reading it out loud. I turned on... Rendering mode is on normal. I don't know the difference between normal and delays. What did I turn on? Oh, I'll put the texture filter quality on high. Let's leave that low. Let's see what we get. We turn the... We turn the texture quality to medium since it says one gig. Well, I guess it's running um, the best it can run. Seems like it's running at the same speed it was running just now, which is probably very close to a locked 30 frames per second. Of course, I haven't gotten anything done yet in this game because uh, I was just turning it on to see what the quality looks like, haven't run into any zombies or anything. But you can actually play this on a Razer Edge Pro. It can be a thing if you're willing to buy it. I'm likely not going to buy it again on a Razer Edge Pro just yet. Um, I'll think about it. Because I already spent, what, $80 on the PS4 version. And I didn't have any time to play that. If I get it on the Razer Edge Pro, I'll have time to play it. That's the kind of thing that's a little bit motivating. But, um, yeah, as you see, it plays good. This is the best settings. You just leave it at these settings if you're going to get it or play it. And that's, that's going to be the best for you. Uh, sorry I haven't done any videos in a long time. I've been very, very busy. I have no idea. Um, now, what we can do is turn the resolution to 720p. I'm telling you right now, 720p is very slow. That's why I have the resolution turned down. As you see, no good. But it's very clear, very dark. Now, if I turn the resolution on 720p, you can play it in 720p, but.
but you'll have to get rid of the other stuff that's making it look as good as it's looking which means the image quality you'll have to turn at least to about a hundred and and the uh, the FXAA hmm I suppose you could leave that on and because um, it, it'll, it'll make it look a little clearer uh, and you want to turn the texture quality to low if you're gonna play it in 720p because it it, it, it gives a significant disrespectful uh, frame drop now this is the best is gonna run which is about the same as the other way only it looks a little bit more clearer um, you could run it this way as well as you see it does it does run pretty much the same speed as the other thing actually this looks a lot better maybe I should have started the video this way well if you want more uh, graphical uh, quality and less frame drops you do it the original way that I had at the beginning of this video and if you wanted to uh, run better with some minor hiccups and frame drops then you wanna put it on these settings here this is probably the best settings there is for it actually for this tablet because uh, actually everything looks really good maybe I should just leave it at this but there is noticeable small frame drops in between doors um, of course I don't like frame drops but I mean it is what it is when you're dealing with a gaming tablet um, if you want a little bit more performance while it's on these settings I suppose you could leave the resolution alone and turn the image quality down let's say 70 percent which is equivalent to um, if a game has like a uh, um, resolution scale I guess it's that so it turns the internal resolution down for me it doesn't seem to make a significant difference in terms of uh, performance it's still about the same it just looks a little bit more fuzzy so but you can you can play it either way like that or not um, yeah like I said I haven't run into any zombies yet in this game because I've been running around the mansion because I know there's a time limit and I want to make sure that the performance shows weather effects as you see it does affect the performance a little bit I'm pretty sure this game has a lot of weather effects I even really have time to mess with it on the PS4 but this is the demo of it and I know there's a time limit or whatever but that's pretty much what I would recommend I would recommend leaving it like this or going back to the graphical quality and turn it up to 100% and, uh, and then it'll look really sharp at the cost of some performance uh, let me see if I can make it somewhere before I end the video and for those who are doubting this stuff because a lot of people doubt yes this is the Razer Edge Pro it is running on the Razer Edge Pro I am plugged in I haven't used this tablet in a long time because uh, I've been so busy and uh, yeah I've got a new controller coming uh, unfortunately this Razer Edge uh, <coughs> excuse me the controller um, R2 button became a little shaky and I was lucky enough to find another controller um, brand new and in box in Spain and so buying it from that person in Spain but yeah if you guys wanted to Oh look, 15 minutes played. Achievement. But yeah, if you guys were looking to play this, this is the performance you'll run into. And what I'm going to do is put it back down to the best performance, which was the... Oh, this is... And by the way, this is all on DirectX 11. I have not checked DirectX 12. Perhaps the performance would be a little bit better. It's been my experience that some things in DirectX 12 do not run that good. That's why I switched to DirectX 11. For instance, uh, the PS2 uh, emulator um, has a Direct the DirectX 12 option, and it's, it's pretty shit on the Razer Edge Pro unless there's an update. So that's why I didn't even bother to try it. But yeah, when I did it before, it was looking choppy because I didn't have XF FXAA on and TAA. That's why I didn't recommend the way that I'm setting it up now to you guys at the beginning. But now I realize that, that that's a huge difference because it looks too choppy without it. 
Let me see if I can get somewhere in this game and run into a zombie or something. I really don't know where I'm supposed to go first because, like I said, I haven't played this game yet. So, what the hell is this? Yeah. Probably not going to ruin it playing it the first time on the tablet because uh, it looks like there's a door up there. I could be bugging. Is he tired? Is he running out of gas? It runs kind of slow in this game. Yeah, so it's it's closer to, you know, basing it on I is like uh, like over here as you see is sixty, and then over here is, is sporadic. It's uh, between I would say fifty, forty to forty to sixty frames per second, forty five to sixty frames per second, judging by the eye of the frame rate. Um, but yeah, the demo just started us right here in the middle of the station. I want to get something going before I turn off this video. So I'm trying to figure out what the hell. Can't save it. Some ammo 